Hello friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video, we'll be solving one quartic equation for the real values of x. So let's get started. I will write our quartic expression in terms of product of two quadratics. So I can write x square plus ax plus 5 times x square plus bx minus 1. So 5 times minus 1 is minus 5 equal to 0. Or we can consider second case x square plus ax minus 5 times x square plus bx plus 1 equal to 0. Now we will multiply negative 5 with plus 1 still we will be getting minus 5. So this is our first case. This is our second case. Let's solve 1 by 1. So I will write our quartic expression x power 4 plus 6x cube plus 9x square minus 5 equal to write x square plus ax plus 5 times x square plus bx minus 1. Let's multiply. So we'll write here x power 4 plus bx cube minus x square minus times plus ax cube. Then we will write ab x square. Then we will write minus ax. Then 5x square plus 5bx minus 5. Now we are going to sum, add. So we will write here x power 4 plus a plus b times x cube plus 5 minus 1 is 4. So ab plus 4 times x square. Then we will write 5b minus a times x minus 5. Now we have to compare coefficients from both the sides. Let me write equation once. Here it is. Now we will compare coefficient of x cube first from both the sides and get a plus b equal to 6. Now we will compare coefficient of x square from both the sides. So I can write a b plus 4 equal to 9. Or from this equation I can write a b will be equal to 9 minus 4. So we can write 5. A B is 5, A plus B is 6. Now if I will compare coefficient of X both the sides. So we will write 5B minus A equal to 0. From here I can write 5B equal to A. This is our third equation. Now we will solve first and second equation. These two and verify through third equation. So from first equation I can write a plus b equal to 6 then b will be equal to 6 minus a which we will apply here. So I can write a b equal to 5 so a times 6 minus a equal to 5 or 6a minus a square equal to 5 or we will write a square minus 6a plus 5 equal to 0. If you will write factors here, then a minus 1 times a minus 5 equal to 0. So from here we are getting a equal to 1 or a equal to 5. Let us verify through our third equation I would say. So if I will check here. So if a is equal to 1 
that means from this equation b will be equal to 5 so let us check 5b equal to a it is not satisfying 5 times 5 this is not equal to 1 so this combination will be cancelled out we are going to accept a equal to 5 if a is 5 that means b is 1 and we can check from here if a is 5 then rhs will be 5 left hand side will be 5 times 1 which is 5 so a equal to 5 this is our accepted value so i will write a equal to 5 and b equal to 1 so we can write our equation equal to x square plus ax plus 5 times x square plus bx minus 1 equal to 0. Let's plug in a equal to 5, b equal to 1, x square plus 5x plus 5 times x square plus x minus 1 equal to 0. Now we will use product zero rule and write x square plus 5x plus 5 equal to 0 or x square plus x minus 1 equal to 0. Now we will use quadratic formula. So x will be equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac. over 2 times a a is 1 b is 5 c is 5 let's apply all the values we'll get minus 5 plus minus a square root of 5 a square is 25 minus 4 times 1 times 5 so 20 over 2 times 1 so 2 so we are going to get here minus 5 plus minus square root 5 over 2. We have two real solutions. Now we are going to solve this quadratic equation. x will be equal to minus b, so minus 1 plus minus square root of b square, so 1 square is 1, minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 so minus times minus becomes plus we will write plus 4 over 2 times 1 so 2 so we are going to get minus 1 plus minus the square root of 5 over 2 so we have in total 4 real solutions now we will consider our second case so if i will write factors x square plus ax minus 5 this time and in other bracket we'll write x square plus bx plus 1 minus 5 times plus 1 is minus 5 equal to 0 again we will multiply and write x power 4 plus a plus b times x cube plus a b minus 4 this time we will be getting a b minus 4 as the coefficient of x square then we will write plus a minus 5 b times x then minus 5 equal to 0 equation is here we will compare coefficients so we'll write a plus b coefficient of x cube this will be equal to 6 coefficient of x square a b minus 4 this will be equal to 9 so from here we can write a b equal to 13 so our first equation is a plus b equal to 6 second equation is a b equal to 13 and if i will compare coefficient of x both sides I can write a minus 5b equal to 0. So from here we will be having a equal to 
5D. Let's check whether we are getting real solution or not. So from our first equation, a plus b equal to 6, we can write b will be equal to 6 minus a, which we will apply here in second equation. So I will write a b equal to 13, a times 6 minus a equal to 13, or I can write 6a minus a square equal to 13 or a square minus 6a plus 13 equal to 0. Now we are going to check only discriminant. Let me write quadratic here a square minus 6a plus 13 equal to 0. Let me write delta as discriminant equal to as per formula b square minus 4ac. So I will write here minus 6 a square minus 4 times 1 times 13. This will be equal to 36 minus 4 times 13 is 52. So this difference will be negative. Discriminant is negative. We are going to get complex solutions. So we can reject this second case. So finally, we have four real solutions. If I will write all the values here, then x equal to minus 5 plus minus square root 5 over 2. Then we will write minus 1 plus minus square root 5 over 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.